all let me thank you all of you for watching my video as you all know that this is dr elizabeth dentistry and i am back with a very interesting topic tooth nomenclature so let's get started guys how excited are you to actually begin with this journey so first of all see this image this is in which teeth are arranged in the jaw forming two dental arches maxillary arch it is also known as upper arch and mandibular arch it is also known as lower arch two arches together constitute the dentition and each arch is divided by an imaginary line okay imaginary line and maxillary right and maxillary right quadrant and maxillary left quadrant and this is mandibular left quadrant and mandibular right quadrant okay so first of all why do we need tooth nomenclature guys system used by dentists to associate information to a specific tooth in clinical practice some shortened system of the tooth notation is necessary for recording data that's why we use tooth nomenclature and to do so efficiently it is necessary to adopt a type of code or numbering system for tooth okay and there are several numbering system exist in the world but the three main types of tooth numbering system that is commonly used and the first one is the universal system and the second one is the sigmondi palmer notation and the third one is fbi tooth numbering system that is federation dentaire international system so first of all universal tooth numbering system the universal numbering system is the official tooth des designation system in the usa okay designation nation system in the usa and adopted by the american dental association since 1975 please note down uh, 1975 american dental association adopted universal numbering system okay and it includes a sequence of arabic number 1 to 32 for permanent and the alphabet from a to t for dent for deciduous teeth moving clockwise around the dentition so first of all deciduous dentition this is right quadrant guys and this is left quadrant and this is maxillary arch and the lower one is mandibular arch okay a b c d e this is right quadrant maxillary arch and f g h i j this is left maxillary arch and this is mandibular z o n m l k this is mandibular left arch and mandibular left quadrant and pqrst this is mandibular right quadrant okay so maxillary teeth a to z this is a to z this is maxillary arch okay so this is maxillary tooth numbering system for deciduous dentition and the mandibular teeth k starting with k to t not t to k guys always start from k and end with t okay this is mandibular teeth now see this image okay this is maxillary arch in deciduous dentition so a b c d e this is right quadrant and upper teeth upper right and this is left quadrant of upper teeth and this is lower left lower quadrant mandibular quadrant and this is lower right mandibular quadrant okay understand now now for permanent permanent dentition permanent dentition 1 to 8 is right maxillary quadrant 9 to 16 is left maxillary quadrant 24 uh, always starting with 17 non 24 okay guys 17 to 24 is left mandibular arch or left mandibular quadrant and 25 to 32 is right mandibular arch or quadrant okay so maxillary teeth is 1 to 16 in permanent dentition and mandibular teeth 17 to 32 always in clockwise okay remember this thing always in clockwise so 
see this permanent dentition image always in clockwise okay always starting with one to see so this is maxillary arch and this is mandibular arch starting with one to eight that is upper right quadrant and this is 9 to 16 is upper left quadrant and 17 to 24 is lower left quadrant and 25 to 32 is lower right quadrant okay so tell me anyone what are the advantages of universal tooth numbering system first is separate number alphabet is given for individual teeth and it is use, easy to fabricate okay and the disadvantage of universal tooth numbering system is confusing when comparing with palmar notation system and cannot be coded by computer and confusing and difficult to remember now the second one is sigmondi sigmondi palmar system in 1947, a committee at the American Dental Association recommended this symbolic Sigmondi or Palmer system as the numbering method of choice. The Sigmondi Palmer system, called it numerical quadrant system, is meant for permanent dentition only. Initially, it was not designed for primary teeth, guys, but in 1874, it was adapted by the primary dentition. This is one of the oldest and most widely used system of dental rotation guys and the method used by the orthodontics, dental students and the practitioner in the United Kingdom. So, first of all, deciduous dentition. This is right and this is left. Starting with A to E in right quadrant and A to E is also in right, uh, left quadrant of maxillary arch. Same thing, A to E in left mandibular arch and A to E right mandibular arch so c this is palmar notation system primary teeth for deciduous dentition starting with a to e in maxillary right quadrant and a to e in maxillary left quadrant same thing mandibular arch a to e in left quadrant and a to e in right quadrant now for permanent dentition Sigmondi used to record quadrants of the tooth position where the primary teeth are coded by the mint of Roman number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for the midline to midline to distally. Okay. Uh, and the permanent starting from 1 to 8 in right upper maxillary arch and left is same 1 to 8 and the left mandibular 1 to 8 also in right and left ma mandibular arch look at this image you can easily understand with this image guys 1 to 8 okay this is right quadrant for palmar notation system uh, in maxillary arch and this 1 to 8 in left quadrant of maxillary teeth and 1 to 8 this one is mandibular left quadrant and this 1 to 8 is mandibular left quadrant First of all, tell me anyone, FBI system, full form? The full form of FBI is Federation Dental International System. Okay, it is two digit system guys. It has been accepted and in 1970 by the FDI and adapted by the WHO and International Association for Dental Research. The dental rotation meet all the basic requirements set by the FDI special committee. So, for den deciduous dentition, guys, this is right quadrant and this one is left quadrant. So, 5 is maxillary right, 6 for maxillary left, okay, and 7 for mandibular left, and 8 for mandibular right. This digit, it means the first digit indicates the quadrant 5 through 8 and the second digit indicate the tooth number system it means five it indicates the quadrant and the one that indicate the tooth numbering system it means tooth position it indicate okay so this is five one five two 
five three five four five five. This is right. Maxillary quadrant and same as it sixty six one two six five is left maxillary quadrant and seven one two seven five is left mandibular quadrant and eight one two eight five is left mandibular. So here, guys, this is FDI notation system for primary teeth. Five one two five five for right maxillary quadrant and six one two six five for left quadrant and seven one two seven five for mandibular left quadrant and eight one two eight five for man right quadrant of mandibular arch. Now for permanent dentition, it is starting with one one two one eight in right maxillary arch and two one two two eight for left maxillary arch and three one two three eight in left mandibular arch and four one two four eight in left right mandibular arch. Okay, look at this image. You can easily understand with this image, guys. This is fourth, first quadrant, second quadrant, th third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Okay, the first one is one one, and the last is one eight, and the second quadrant is starting with two one and the end with two eight. This is maxillary arch, right and left, and The mandibular arch is starting with three one two three eight in left quadrant and four one two four eight in right quadrant. Now, guys, the advantages of FDI notation system is it is very simple and accurate and it is easy to memorize. Okay, so that's why we can use FDI notation system. Simple to teach and easy to understand. Simple to translate into computer input, and the most important thing is simple in conversation and direction also, and readily communicate, communicable in print. But some disadvantages of FDI notation system are: in the case of deciduous dentition, there can be confusion and it is difficult to memorize. For the specialized, other than periodontist, it can be difficult to understand or to define tooth. So, so guys, tooth numbering system is completed. If you have any feedback or suggestion, please let me know in comment box, which will help me to improve my video. Thank you.